All right, YouTube. I got my Magic Yo-Yo N9 floating here. Now, I do really like this Yo-Yo. I've had it for a couple of years now. And it's basically like a Magic Yo-Yo N12. It's a little smaller with hub stacks. Well, it actually comes with C stacks when you get it. Um, you can fit, you know, any hub stack will fit on it, no problem. So, that's nice. I do like the anodizing on it. I like all the, the markings on it. It's got like these little characters on the side too and stuff. Yeah, and uh, I like how they line up too. Kind of like Yo-Yo Factory's aero system that never works. It just has the stock, you know, Magic Yo-Yo response, which I feel plays fine. I've heard people complain about them that, oh, they don't bind good and stuff. Well, I don't know. I can bind fine with them, so I don't know what the hell anybody's talking about. And you could always just fill it with silicone. But yeah, you know, uh, nice center track bearing came with it. Uh, it does have a crappy axle, just like all the Magic Yo-Yos for the most part. This one's a little better, though. It's like a little longer. Normally, they're like half that length, and if you drop them or anything, they're gone forever. <laughs> so this one's a little better. It's not quite as easy to lose. Yeah, it's got a nice, very smooth finish. Feels good in your hand. You know, and a lot of times you always feel really smooth, good in your hand, don't grind good. The satin finish ones usually grind better. But this one grinds pretty good. I mean, not quite as good as the N12 or one of the satin finish ones, but you know, not that, not that far off. Let's see if I can get some tricks in frame. I don't have a filmer right now, so, you know, I'll do my best. But yeah, I mean, it, it plays great. I mean, it handles pretty much whatever you throw at it. For the price of it, I mean, you can't really go wrong. I think I got this like three years ago for like 15 bucks, so it's probably still only like 15 bucks, just like all the Magic Yo is. You know, they're all from 10 to 20 bucks, basically. Uh, but yeah, it plays good. Uh, you know, grinds, grinds fine. You know, you can handle, you know, unresponsive tricks like whips. You know, obviously, like I just did right there. But yeah, um, for the most part, you can handle whatever you throw at it. You know, it's got the good weight where you can go pretty quick with it. And it doesn't lose control. It's nice and rim weighted. Yeah, but overall, this is probably my top five Magic Yo-Yos. Sorry, I've never reviewed this one and I've had it forever. But yeah, I really like it. I say it's in the top five. And uh, if there's any other Yo-Yos you want to see me review in the future, just hit me up in the comment section. I'll do what I can. I try not to buy really expensive Yo-Yos when there's all these cheap ones out there that play good. And I already own, like, too many, way too many Yo-Yos. But, uh... Yeah, if you have any questions about it or anything, just hit me up in the comments and I'll get to it the best I can. So, thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Thanks.